Gamers, 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 gamers. It is I, 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 it is I. The wacky voice effect. The wacky voice effect. The wacky voice Always a fun new setting to play with. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I'm here a little early just because um, another beautiful night out and, uh, you know, going to take advantage of it. <laughs> Sorry, that's my that was my impression of the perfect dark noise. Did I ever plug uh, my delay pedal into your microphone? No, no, no. No, that's a uh, onboard effects software. But um, welcome back to Perfect Dark, a game that um, is good. I should not have played on the hardest difficulty. Boy, do I feel silly. But we're, we can't stop it now. So I, I failed this level last time. Vinny, I enjoyed your Blade Runner commentary. Thank you. I, I did my best. Tried to keep it interesting and... Uh, share some... There's one thing I wish I would have mentioned, but I didn't. And I'll tell you after this cutscene in case you missed it previously. Watch as Elvis just goes through. Like, he just went through that rail. Joanna! You go on ahead, Joe. I'll secure the perimeter. We'll meet up later. So, I hate this level, but I love the music on this level. Um, but I got it this time, chat. I failed it last time. I know how to win. I know how to win. Change the difficulty to normal for this one level. Well, then you can't do the rest of the levels on, on hard. On perfect agent. But uh, one thing I wanted to mention about Blade Runner yesterday, the final cut, is... It's very unlike what George Lucas did with Star Wars. Which is, uh, added a bunch of unnecessary shit, you know, played around with, uh, effects that really didn't need to be there. Um... Alright, there's a camera. Fucking alarm. So, no, the, the final cut is a really great way to watch the movie. And it's got some CG stuff that fixes some issues. But it's nowhere near, like, distracting Banthas in the foreground. So, after I was done with my commentary yesterday, I rem like, I just remembered, um, that I forgot to mention that. It's coming to Netflix soon. Oh, that's that's good. I thought it was already on Netflix. But that'll give a whole bunch of other people a chance to not understand it and, <laughs> and get mad at me for recommending it. So I look forward to that day. That's only half true. I've had a lot of people tell me that they loved it. Uh, some people didn't like it so much, but yeah, that's, that's life. Without the autopilot and the GPS, ship will wander off station. <laughs> what's Vinny? What's your Netflix password? It's booty <laughs> hot your source beat. One. Pull the plug on that. Please, just don't hurt me. I don't care. 
Pistol whip. Oh! Oh, oh shit, damn. Okay, they shut the thing down. All right. Okay. No, I feel good about this this run. Even though I don't have a lot of health, I, I think I got this. It's just about memorizing where to go at all times. Why did my- what? This mouse mod does not work all the time, chat. There are times where the mouse just unlocks. It's really- it's- it sucks. It happens at the worst times. Do I have any interesting tales to share? No. Not today. Today I took it easy. Drove around a little bit. Relaxed. Like nothing... Yeah, nothing new to report since yesterday. Any, anything happened in, in the world of game? Take it easy! That's what I did. Um, Vinny, I saw a comment on the Blade Runner commentary track that said, Why is the bloody, uh, video blurry? What the fuck? The Blidio. Activate the moon pool lift. How you doing? It's big time, phone. But it's Tony or Tommy? Tommy. Sorry if that was really loud. <laughs> I hiccuped just as I was doing it, too. Did you see Tommy Wiseau's tweet? I did. Yeah, Tommy Wiseau's tweet was just, a, like, it's as if his skin melted off onto the keyboard and pressed a bunch of random keys. It made no sense, and of course people are now trying to decipher it. God damn it. Chat. This isn't that hard of a level if, if you just do it right, know it where to go, and don't fuck up a single time. Kill all the Marios. I built my my free Lego Lamborghini that they gave me, chat. It was small. It was to promote uh, Forza. Is there a new Forza game or is this a an old one? I didn't realize that they um that they were promoting that. Vinny, are you trying to be louder than the game? Uh, I guess so, yeah. Over the gunshots. Is this game too loud? Old DLC for Horizon 4. Horizon 4 had LEGO Island DLC. Oh, that's why I got a 70-piece Lamborghini. It's really small. There's really not much to it, but I liked it. I always liked the smaller LEGOs. I found out they're doing, um... A Bespin duel with Luke and Vader. The end of Empire. And there's a part of me, chat. There's a little part of me, chat, that wanted that set. And I'm like, I can't be doing Legos again, man. I can't. They're cool. I don't feel too much like a big bad B for putting them together. But what they do, I see what they're doing. It's devious. With this Lego set, they have a 40th anniversary 
logo on it, and like they they call it like a they're not calling it this, but like a prestige piece. The idea being that like ah, oh, it's for your collection. And it says there's ample room to put this on your mantle. So they're they're gearing these uh, these Lego toward toward people who are collectors, so that man babies like me wouldn't feel guilty about buying them. And I'm tempted. I love it. No, I honestly I've um, I've had a steady supply of every couple of years. I build a Lego set. I'm like, wow, this is great. I should do more of this, and then I don't. Um, I did the snow speeder from Empire. And then I did uh, Yellow Submarine because that was an exclusive, like that was limited time, and that was fun. And um, then I did the Mario stuff. And now I can only hope, since LEGO got the rights to Mario, LEGO Zelda. I would get LEGO Zelda with no shame. Zero shame. I would enjoy it very much. Of course, I would also love a Lego Metroid, but that wouldn't happen. It would work really well, too. Like, the, the tiles could easily be Lego bricks, like, painted like the NES game, like, um, Kraid's Lair and Norfair and shit. I would love that. I, you know, anything Metroid would be fine right now. Okay, uh, chat, I'm gonna show you now, if I don't die, the shortcut, the secret. Of Yoda's hut. Man, they really made the N64 sound great with the soundtrack. Rare knew how to, like, squeeze the lemon of the N64. They, they got all that power out there, and it's fantastic. Uh, new gaming historian video I liked. It was good. It was about, um, Sony's failures. <laughs> and after the controller fiasco, it, it felt like... It was a nice, um, it's a nice bit of catharsis. Okay, Elvis. Elvis, you need to come here now. Chat, where's Elvis? Oh, thank God. Didn't matter. Oh, thank God. Right. The diving operation has been disrupted on the surface. Time for a swim. I hope the government don't want to use this ship anytime huh? soon. Did you think we were a little heavy-handed? No. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if that seemed like a pain in the ass, wait until you see this next one. We're, we're well over halfway done with this game, by the way. It's just, some of these levels are tough. This doesn't seem normal. No one's around. No signs of conflict, no spent ammo cases or bullet holes. But there ought to be a rear guard at least. It makes no sense. There has to be someone further inside. Cover me. Vinny, do you plan on doing combat simulator missions after the story? Um, maybe a little bit, but not too many. Maybe just for fun. But I, I don't know.
Vinny, why would you feel shame when buying Lego sets? I uh, No, I mean, that was a, more of a joke than anything. I just wanted to joke about... Listen, they're toys I used to play with as a kid. So there's always going to be some, like, weirdness of uh, going to a Lego store and picking up a Lego set. Even though I feel much more comfortable with that than I would buying, like, um, other toys. Lego is just fucking great. That's all there is to it. It's for everyone. But yeah, I guess it's just a, a little bit of a stigma. Oh, and overpriced. Yeah, definitely overpriced. I can't... I can't argue with that. That's why when I was a kid, I ended up getting like four of the smaller sets and pretending they were one big set. But, uh... Here's more... More good music. Um, I did see the Pirates of Barracuda, the $200 pirate set, and I was like, fuck, that looks cool. But I'm... I'm good. I have to consider the amount of space I have for these things too, you know? Like, I can build them. If they're not too big, I'm not too daunted by it, and I can build a set, that's no problem. It's just, where do I put it afterwards? Really a big fan of the shotgun. This is no Doom shotgun or Quake shotgun. said, I'll kick your ass. He did. Hey, Elvis, can I borrow that gun? Like Han Solo? I like this gun. Elvis, I'll make better use of that gun. There's a big update for the meat game coming out soon, chat. Well, I don't know how soon, but it's a robot named Fight. I know not everyone's into watching that game, but there's some, some really cool additions that I'm looking forward to. I'll take an excuse to come back to it. I have no problem with that. But there's also a million other games that have updates waiting for Hades 1.0. Um, Rogue Legacy 2 got an update. I might check that out again. They added D-pad controls. And, um, Noita, I haven't streamed in a while. But Spelunky 2 is coming out soon, and guess what, chat? I probably don't have a controller that works for that, for the PS4. Remember, I have two broken controllers, both broken in different ways. Combined, they make a working controller. Just get the game on PC, I know, but... Spelunky 2 is one of my most anticipated games. It just sucks I have to wait an extra couple weeks for it, or maybe a month, or, or possibly more. Hypnospace is getting an expansion soon. You know I'd play that. You'll be waiting too. Maybe we can all, like, wait together, this and we can... To we can draw girl. power from each other while waiting for Spelunky 2. I'll just play like a Spelunky ripoff or something on the Android store. <laughs> Alright chat, I don't have a lot of health already, I'm almost dead, isn't that cool? So that means this mission is gonna suck. 
But at least we have good frame rates. Fuck you, man. Where did you come from? How many games have I double dipped on? Binding of Isaac. Um, so Switch, 3DS, PC, double dipped on Dead Cells, Skyrim I didn't pay for, Doom I didn't pay for, <laughs> um, so that was cool. So I did double dip, but I didn't have to buy them, otherwise I wouldn't have double dipped. I didn't pirate them either, they just sent me keys for them. Um... Obviously, Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time, you know, the, the remakes, but that doesn't count. Like, I guess ports for double dipping would count. Another thing, chat, there was a... What game? Oh, Hades is, get, is getting uh, PC saves for the Switch. Which is a feature every Switch port should have for, like, an indie game. I know it's not possible for every one of them. But, man, that would be so cool. It's just such a great idea. The Witcher does that, yeah. So this is the far sight. This is a gun that can see through walls when it wants to. It's a little tough to use, but if you figure it out, it's broken. Especially in multiplayer. So, like, here's an example of what you can do with this thing. You have to find it, right? Find the target. There you go. There you go, right? Mental. Chat. Mental. This thing was the bane of my existence in multiplayer. Pistol, Elvis. Yeah, the, the secondary effect of this weapon is the target locator, which is supposed to be an automatic thing, but it doesn't seem to be working right now. In multiplayer, I remember it working pretty well. So we have disable Satan, 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 mega weapon, secure control room, restore Dr. Carroll's personality. Okay. Seton, Satan, Satan. I can almost fucking guarantee you I don't have enough HP for what we're about to have to do. Which is a weird sentence. What we're about to have to do. Destroy the tubes. Yeah, those are like little Skedar. What Mr. Blonde is, it's these. Not a good idea to stand close to these. Not the best option. Chat, D 
Did I miss an objective? It's so easy to miss objectives in this game. There are a couple of tubes hidden behind walls that you need this far sight for. Did I miss them? No, those are later? Okay. I just don't know. Everything feels like mission ending. So I have to ask chat a lot, otherwise we'd be stuck here for the next year. What is that? Is that a turret? Okay, I have to remember that that's there when I die. loud. My VR mod for Outer Wilds got a 1.0 release. Are you going to try it? Uh, maybe. There's a lot of VR stuff I want to try. So, maybe? I love Elvis's hit noises. Truthfully, though, I'm, I'm glad Elvis got shot and not me. No offense to the to the lad. much of this level. Holy shit. Eat hot death weirdo. Eat hot death weirdo. I like that, Elvis. Nice. Can't see shit. is way shorter, is it? Um, did I miss one of these tubes? It is tubes day, that's right. It's tube steak. So we can discuss flesh melting off the bone now. But imagine... Imagine not knowing that you had to do that because a chat member told you.
It mentions it in the mission briefing. Yeah, but I'm I, I, I'm stupid. I don't I don't read. I'm here to lead, not to read. Shot him. I have the backup disc in my inventory. Do I? to go into my pause inventory. Ugh. Forgot that you could even do that. That was more of a Goldeneye thing. By the way, happy 23rd birthday to Goldeneye. Dated I haven't done anything to prevent this. Virus detected. Me and my big mouth. Commencing countermeasures. Commence. I like that scream noise. That was cool. Can you stop the program? Yes, I'm back again, my dear. But the program has run far too long. It sounds like R2D2. But there's only one way out now. What do you mean? When the program has run, I will have control of a vastly powerful weapon. It cannot be allowed to exist. So I must destroy the Cetan. And unfortunately, myself along with it. I'm sorry, Joanna. There is no other way. I've no time to discuss this. Go now! Avoid the skedda and you will have time to escape. It has been an honor to work with you. Goodbye, Joanna Dog. That was Conquer, that was Chris Seaver. We have to get out of here! Okay, chat, portal? Yes, right? Go, to the, go through the portal? No, opposite portal, okay. I'm assuming since there's dudes here, this is the correct way. I don't have enough ammo. Chat, I don't know what weapon to use. Thank God. Oh, thank God, I did the mission in one try. Fuck yeah. Oh, we made up for a lot of lost time with this one. Run has been saved, and we're still on WR pace. Right, we can't keep the main delegation waiting. Or the president, of course. Am I ready? What do you mean? I was ready half an hour ago. It was you holding us up. But you know how it is, Joanna. I had to make sure my hair was just right. And then there was the suit. They should keep you away from mirrors. Nervous? The Jimmy Page Very dragon nice. dress. I've waited for this moment for so many years. Contact. Friendly contact between humans and men is what the Institute was founded for. In a few minutes, we'll be at the White House, and it will finally happen. Where did that come from? It was up on ground level. Hey, looks like someone doesn't know when to quit. <laughs> Got to get everyone out. Yeah, I remember this one being annoying, too. Ah! 
but at least we get some new weapons. We're under attack. Get the guns back online. Hurry. The auto defenses will really help me out. Got a mauler. It's got a meaty sound to it. This is the energy drink from Kill It With Fire, chat. Okay, so turn on the, the defenses first. Where's the defenses, though? Downstairs. This is one defense. Objectives failed, abort mission. No. You don't tell me when to quit. Alright. Now there are two of them. Already. Yeah, I, I know the game is loud. Uh, we'll just do that because I want to hear the music. Man, they, they have all these guards right next to that, and they can't press it themselves. They have to wait for Joanna to do it. No wonder this place is under attack. Did they not see this coming? You, turn on the defenses! Save the, the, you know, Carrington man. Save Robin Williams. Even though he does look a little bit like Robin Williams from Goodwill Hunting, it's not that much of a Robin Williams. It's just his face is so blurry that you almost, you could just make it anybody.
Thanks, Joe. I want the gun. Oh, I get the gun. That's later. Yes, sir. Okay, so there's a couple more last ninjas. Already did it again, Joe. Get the guns back online. Hurry. The auto defenses will really help me out. Carrington sounds a little bit like Sean Connery, which I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it would be a good little nod to the fact that they did a Bond game. That was a friend. I like when. I like when I get uh, shot for half a second and lose half of my health. Joanna, we're under attack. Get the guns back online. Hurry. The Hurry. Should be man, this this is confusing. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's guns somewhere. Here's one. All right, these lazy bastards. I say that as an honorary lazy bastard. Come here. Vinny, if you beat Area 51 by leaving on the jet bike, Jonathan guards Carrington's office on this level. I vaguely recall that. Why did you just give the Joanna Dark, like, noise? Like, she got me, he said. That was someone from the Carrington Institute. What the hell? Levels. Let me, let me go this way. I need to plot my optimal route. Sorry about that. Help me 
you beat the last mission too early and the game knows. Yeah, the pain detector has has dinged. I know there was a shield on this level in previous difficulties, but I think it was right around there, too. I don't think a shield would have detracted from the difficulty of this mode that much. They could have left it in, in my, in my opinion. Their shields don't cover their guns. So wait, I can shoot the guns out of their arms, their, their hands. There they got her. Go back for the RCP. You can't yet. Need to save the hostages first. Locked. That's a door. This is the room you start in. If they die now, it's fine. I can still succeed. As long as they don't die while I'm trying to save them. This fucking elevator broken? Then he blow up that panel in Carrington's office? Okay. chat is um, misremembering the order, which I wouldn't fucking remember it for a second, so I understand. But I wonder if those people die. Joanna, I'm trying to take them out myself. Could really use a chili dog right about now. I 
forgot that this weapon had a cloak. But it, it fucking gobbles ammo. Bullet powered cloak. Yeah, no, no, uh, no logical reason or explanation for why I said cock so loud just then, but I do know that I was upset, so it might have been an emotional response. I can't tell if the dude spawned in or if that was the dude from the elevator from earlier, but that was awful. At least I know where I'm going now, kind of. I'll have to go carefully. The hostages are counting on He spawned in, they do that a lot. Especially in those tunnel things. Oh cool. One casualty so far. Oh, we got a Ross raid. Thanks, Ross. Hey, everybody. You may remember me as the skeleton. Sands, that's me. Sand Undertale, thank you. It'd be really cool if, if I was raided and like, you know, a couple hundred people or thousand people joined just as I screamed before when I was killed by the end, that dude that spawned in and I, I said the bad poo-poo word at the top of my lungs. just standing there at least give me a chance to like shoot Man. oh god oh! Still a pasta chat. Took a while to find that weapon. All right, now I have to be very, very on guard. We 
We're start here. We're gonna start right there. Make sure there's no spawning enemies. No hiding enemies. Where's the bomb? Oh wait, I think I, remember, I think I know where the bomb is. It's in the the, 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 the landing pad, right? The launch pad, where the helicopters land. Oh, that's incorrect. Combat boost when using that. Okay. I am still very upset. Checkpoints in perfect dark? Oh no. Oh no. Like placing bets on whether or not this guy will be dead by the time I get in here. damage. I have no faith in this run, but I'm not giving up. giving up. Okay. For coming back from it, Joanna. Thanks, it's just weird that you can't do some of these objectives out of order. Like, I can't shoot the safe. I feel like being able to destroy the safe now wouldn't throw too much off. It's just another elevator trip that I have to make. Oh no. Oh. God, that was almost terrible.
quicker. Switch weapons quicker, please, Joanna. I'm not even bothering. can use pause button to switch quicker without getting shot. You can still get shot just after you press the pause button, though. Chad, do I even have the Devastator? Where, where's the damn Devastator? No, I don't have it. Is it in here? I thought it was in here. Same spot as the third attempt, or fourth attempt, or fifth, I'm not sure. Did you know that that weapon makes you invisible for a reason, says chat member. I've been told by another chat member that that invisibility function does not work very well, and enemies still can see you. This is just a cock run. Why do they shoot your corpse so much? If you think about it, Joanna Dark killed hundreds, if not thousands, of their co-workers, of their friends. So it's kind of personal. That's my interpretation of the material. Would you be up for a Black Mesa style remake of this game? I would. There would need to be some pacing adjustments. Um, <laughs> again, I know I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. I know a lot of these problems could have been mitigated if I was just playing on normal. Wow, they were good this time. They just they killed my friends here. I can't believe it. Yeah, Xbox 360, Xbox Live Arcade, rather, had a, a port of this that was pretty good. I say port, it was a remaster. It was a better visual 60 FPS, better controls. 
Vinny, the 60 frames a second might be messing with the AI timing on certain things too. Oh, oh, right. Possible. Joanna, we're under attack. Get the guns back online. Hurry. The auto defenses will really help me out. <laughs> Already, John. No, not yet. Wrong way. Just the way the enemies spawn in is one of the more annoying parts of the game. But it's not on every level. Only some levels have annoying spawn enemies, TM. Poor bastard's already dead. Both of them died? Oh, come on! I didn't even enter the room and they were shot to death. What the fuck? I, uh, this is the worst part of the mission, this part. Been selected. The K7 is more powerful than the other one. Oh! Running past gun turrets, are we? The Skunjili man was here to help me. Good thing there's no friendly fire from turrets. But 
but how come I was able to save them no problem the first couple times? that room like you did on the better attempts? Okay. Chad, how do I unlock the perk to reload faster? What prestige do I have to be? Oh, fuck this up, Joanna. Already something has fucked up. Fucking reload faster. Notice I approached from a different part of the room too. I killed a different guard first. I think that helped as well. They've already gotten started on their slaughter here. That's just not fair. This dude gives you the Devastator. Jeez. Yeah, I'll use the Devastator on the safe easier that way. We can remember the gun nerds by using their greatest invention. The gun that uses bullets as a source of cloaking fuel for some reason. We can, we can do it. And now, I will avenge all of the friendly deaths on this level by completing the mission. Kill this dude who just spawned in, of course. You know, that that guy.
Isn't that the, the facility noise chat? All right, best way to do this is combat boost. Can I move forward? I can't. The ship is in the way. What do you mean I have to board a drop ship now? Where is it? Carrington was. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Get clear. I'll hold them off. You can come back and get me later. I hope you can. Why is this windscreen white? Oh, right. Captain, a hollow plastic box has fallen on me. Captain. I will need Riker to kill me. Worf. We cannot just kill you, Worf. But it is part of Klingon custom. You must kill me, Captain. Worf, you've got oh, a paper cut. I'd better not be where I think I am. It is dishonorable to receive that, a paper cut. Dear. Just look who you've got for company. You? I thought you'd managed to escape. We found no trace of you at all. You couldn't find me, but there was no hiding from the Skedar as you and Mr. Carrington just discovered. This is it. Wait there. I'll make a distraction. It will give you a chance to get out. Use it, or we'll both die. Why are you doing this, Cassandra? The Skidar used me, Joanna. You were my best chance for revenge. Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Stock scream. Maybe we could have fought together. You know, instead of there being this bizarre distraction plan, we could have, like, fought the Skedar together. Yeah, I'm just gonna punch a giant, like, lizard thing, probably. Oh, my mouse unlocked. Again, good. I might have accidentally banned someone from my mouse unlocking, so sorry about that. Vinny, you have a knife? I know. I, I, I screwed up. I keep throwing the knife poorly. Well, this time, 
I didn't throw the knife poorly, the thing just didn't die. The problem with the mauler charge option is that if you press reload, you waste ammo. Someone in chat just said, I was baned. Please help. Ah. Do you wish for me to help you? Charge shot. So they live a long time. One shot left until I die after the first two enemies in the game, or in the level rather. Yeah, I know, perfect agent. I know, I get it. So yeah, once again, my mouse just decided not to lock into the game again. Hangar doors are on the other elevator, okay? is an annoying process, but it seems like just hacking away at the back of those things' heads is the best way to make that happen. So I'm going this way. Right. 
damn it. Yes, because I can read moon runes. <laughs> no damage, but I managed to scroll the chat up by accident because I tabbed out again. Vinny, can you stab the panels? Okay. I'm worried the explosion will do damage to me, though. I, I could have sworn I pressed that button before. Sounds like a Star Trek noise. I was a little too far from it. Nice outfit. That was his suit to meet the president. Oh, it was. Okay, next objective is access navigational system, sabotage engine system, and gain control of bridge. I don't know where these things are. Show me, Elvis. Vinny, you need the necklace from the beginning of the level? Did I not get the necklace? I don't have it.
you do not need the necklace that is Japes. It's Japes, you got it. Okay. go back. Wrong way for objective three. <laughs> I like that video games have made me stupid. Well, I mean, I'm a, uh, that's not true. I, I've already been stupid, but they've definitely dumbed me down by placing arrows. These days, them video games get them arrows all over the place, pointing you directly to the next area. Though I do like the quality of life. Like, I think you can have a game where you can still navigate and then, like, the more important objectives, especially if it's, like, really confusing level design like a lot of this game was, and especially, like, Torok 2. I don't look back at Torok 2 and be like, man, back in my day, the game was the game. I don't think of it like that anymore because that game is incredibly frustrating. Back down for objective four. But this game has better level design and shorter levels, which is good, but I still get kind of confused. Vinny, how dare you not understand dark featureless hallway? <laughs> I think a, a middle ground between press X to win, and, like, pasting arrows all over the screen to show the player where to go. And what we have, what we had here, like, a nice middle ground would be great. I just stood there, chat. I just stood there. damage, whatever.
Hey, Joanna! I, I've come to save you! Again, like every like 30 seconds, the mouse just, I just see it pop out and I see something like, what did I open? I just opened all the chat messages of Kratos Foley. I'm sorry, Kratos. I don't know why I'd need to know every message you posted in the past hour, but I now have that information. It was an accident. your cursor to stay locked in a window. I believe that. I'll just complain about it and not fix it. Yeah, I'm not going to uh, figure out how to use a program midstream. Elvis, why do you not shoot? Elvis, we gotta go. Well, Elvis is still pretty chipper after I took his friend's weapon. Wait, why would I take his friend's weapon? There's no ammo for it, chat. You japed. Almost dead. Thanks, chat. Vinny, can you give us a hint about the next season of Vine Sauce? Goblins. That was an instant kill, what? It's a sneak attack? Backstab? Oh, if they don't see you, okay. So in other words, I got incredibly lucky just then. Their head tail is like a headshot. I'll have to try to 
aim for that. Can you please help? Yeah, the Callisto's great. Like, their weapon is fantastic. It's just not feasible because there's no ammo. So whoever told me to get their weapon... What, what were you expecting? It's no ammo, man. Cloplins. The, I was expecting ammo, says a chat member. It's okay. It's all good. Go in there. Elvis! What the fuck, Elvis? That's why I say, hey man, nice shot. game looks like CBT. Yes, it is on this difficulty. Again, it's designed for having already completed the game and knowing it pretty well. And I decided to play it because I forgot how difficult it actually was. But you know if I didn't do the hardest difficulty, there would be some people that would be like, But why you not play this real difficult? Please, Boot, the perfect agent is best. Please. So I feel like there's no, there's no really way I could have won. Though I, I would have had a better time playing on medium difficulty. I could have just ignored them and then just did it, but I didn't consider. Again, it's my own fault. And once I started Perfect Agent, I knew I had to commit to it. I felt it in my cockles. Please. 
Why did you do so much damage, please? I don't know. With it, sorry, the voice is coming out. The frustration has meant that I have no shame anymore. Oh, come on. Audio is crackling. What's crackling? shot it's probably this mission that's cr uh, causing the crust this this game has had some crust on um, this uh, n64 a little bit every now and then the audio sk uh, skips the Skedar are waiting for me is because I didn't kill them before I went down there. But I don't really have enough ammo to kill them. I mean, I kind of do if, if I had good aim. Stare. There's a chat member named Cold Stare that wants to know which N64 I'm using. It's called 1964. Also, the reason I say your name out loud is because it sounds like a hedgehog. OC. Same thing ice cream place. Cold Stone. Oh, it's because of Cold Steel, the Hedgehog. That's why. Employees at Coldstone have to sing whenever you tip them. That's not real, is it? What if they don't have the ability to carry a tune? They they get fired and die. What about um? Like Applebee's when they have to do the happy birthday. What if you can't go, whoa, whoa, whoa! You get fired and die. Ow! 
Applebee's for when you're too lazy to microwave your own food. Is Applebee's really that bad? No. I just knew someone that worked there years ago that I, I would say, hey, what do you eat here? Like, when you eat... And he told me that he mostly... He was like, well, you know, sometimes I, I get the, the, the grilled chicken. I'm like, what do you mean grilled chicken? He's like, you know, just grilled chicken, plain. What's wrong with that? No, 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 nothing was wrong with that, but my my question to him was like, what what is good on the menu? Like, what should I get based on what you eat here? And he was like, I don't really eat here. So. Someone said, I love getting turnt at Applebee's. Well, the drinks are cheap. Good to see you, Joanna. Take this. You should find it useful. The, the soda is nice. I mean, listen, I would rather have an Applebee's over a McDonald's. Like a McDonald's, or a, especially not a Burger King. I'd rather eat it at Applebee's. They have this brownie slash ice cream thing that I could eat every day. No, I couldn't. I say that, but I probably couldn't. That brownie is good shit. Someone said, what's wrong with a McDonald's? McDonald's. Um, it's more the idea of the menu at Applebee's. You can at least rotate. And, like, some of the food, like, feels healthier. McDonald's, the point of that is that it appeals to every taste palette. And, um, well, not every taste palette. It, the idea is it's, it's the lowest common denominator of food. And, uh, it's fast. So it's, you know, it's fine for what it is. If you want a fast meal, it's there, but, like... If I had to choose Applebee's or fast food for, like, a dinner... Like, a sit-down-and-eat dinner... I'd choose Applebee's, but there are better chains. Like, there's chains that I'd rather eat at that aren't... Like, mom-and-pop gourmet restaurants that are still pretty good. Cheesecake Factory comes to mind. so unhealthy. Well, it's, you, I mean, good luck finding healthy at most of these places, but, um, from my experience, I'd rather eat at a Cheesecake Factory than an Applebee's. Go for Chili's instead. I haven't been to a Chili's in, like, five years. You know the corporate overlords are just loving this conversation right now. Yeah, same spot! Oh! They like the idea of, of discussion. That's like Burger King paid $5. Chat five dollars to get this kind of discussion, and I'm go I'm giving it away for free.
What's your opinion on Sal and Lloyd's pizza? I don't know what that is. Who's Sal and who's Lloyd? Is that a chain? It's a Staten Island pizza place? I hadn't heard of it. There's a lot of places around here that I've never eaten at. Like, there's a lot of pizza here. There's too much pizza here. In fact, I'm... I'm getting a little sick of pizza. You heard me, chat. You heard me. It's not that I don't love it. It's that it's just so easy to find a pizza place here that I kind of wish there was some more variety. Now, I know there is variety. There's only like one one or two Indian food places that are decent. And like I have to go to Manhattan or Brooklyn to get good Indian food. There's no good ramen that I'm aware of here. Like there's a, there's some stuff that I wish we had but we don't. So, yeah, a million pizza places, and that's fine. But I'd rather really only eat at the best ones and not try, like, some random jabroni pizza joint. Like, I'll try some of the newer ones and see if it's any good, and if it's the same as... Like, if it's a 7.5 pizza or below, why not just go for the 8.6? What about Ikea or Lidl food? I still have not eaten at an Ikea. I heard Costco has a good food. So. Charles Entertainment Cheese. Oh, that's a good pizza. It's good because as soon as you're done with Charles Entertainment Cheese, you go to the liquor store next door and you just get fucking trashed. Or better yet, you get trashed before you go into Charles Cheese. I mean, you saw my picture from when I was on vacation. There was a Chuck E. Cheese in a lot, and it, the, right next to it was a fucking liquor store. I was like, ah, yes, the natural progression. Exactly where they are. So I'm out of ammo for the weapon that's been carrying me.
Where's Elvis? Next objective is sabotage engine systems. Good time for my mouse to freeze. Up more again. Elvis, help. So, Chad, I didn't, uh, I didn't mention what happened earlier. I was in a parking lot waiting for my food to finish cooking from this place I like. And I'm in, I'm in my car. And, um... Lady pulls up next to me. Not paying attention. Parks maybe four feet away from my car. Three or four feet away from my car. And, um just slams her door open into my car door. All right, closes her door. Barely even acknowledges that she did that. Like, it was normal. She was checking her phone when she did it. Um, so I look. I'm pissed. She sees me looking. She makes a face and then starts running. She just started running. Like as if she was late to a meeting. Uh, so I wrote a note that said, maybe next time don't open your door like a maniac, thanks. And I just left it on her windshield. Was there damage? No. It was uh, a little bit, like a little dent. But my car's already a little dented, so whatever. I didn't, I was just too lazy to give a fuck, but... Like, it wasn't, it wasn't enough damage that I, I said to myself, I gotta get a license plate. What kind of face did she make? It was like a, like a surprised slash disgusted face. Slash oops, slash I've done this before. But the way she opened the door was as if, like, who gives a fuck, you know? It's just another car. Like, just open it as big and wide as you want. Why, why care? You know, there wouldn't be, there's, there's minimal chance that someone would be in the car. Now, of course, I'm just making assumptions. Spin! I'm just making assumptions based on what happened, but I never thought I'd, I'd see someone run away. Like, I was there. She could have just, like, knocked and apologized or something, but no. Well, this is a, a- this is a helpful glitch. Oh, thank god. Wow. That's the first time I've seen another planet from space. It's beautiful. Hmm? I don't... I don't believe it! Elvis? What is it? Where are you going? We have to get down to the surface! Follow me! So I don't know, chat. I don't know about this next mission.
This is the schedule. It's two hours we've been doing this now, so I'm going to stop now and do a BRB and switch to destroy all humans. The shrine is located at the most holy part of this holy planet. So let me get this straight. It's holy. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? Yes. In all of the time that we lions fought the Skiddle, we never found this place. We knew that if Turk was destroyed, the war would never be over. We fought the Skiddle to a standstill. We earned a ceasefire, but we always had to be on our guard. The destruction of this place would be a chance of true peace. Then we have to be certain that no fanatics survive. I'll go in and take out the leader. You'll have to summon the Mayan fleet to level the shrine. If you're caught on the ground when the fleet gets you, you won't stand the Joanna chance. is very confident that she'll be able to do this. I don't intend to make. But yeah, uh, this is a crazy mission, and I'm not going to do this now. Someone said, what do you think of the design of the Skedar and, and their weapons? They're, I, I love them, but I, I would love to see them with, like, today's visuals. I would love to see a perfect dark game that's really true to this one. Go in. Look, look at all these weapons they give you. <laughs> the reload is so good. God, this place must be hot. Three suns. This is triple sun, chat. This is much more than Star Wars. Tatooine had two sons. You know what that is? That's for babies. This is for real motherfucking gamers. Three sons. The trinary sunset. Anyway, we're gonna stop here. Just double check that I, I save. So, there's some bonus missions. This is the final mission, but then there's a couple bonus missions. I might not complete them. I might do... Okay, so here's my plan. I want to finish the game, check out the bonus missions, if they're not a huge pain in the ass. Maybe even do them on an easier difficulty. Depending on how long the final mission takes, I'll stream some bonus content. So maybe some of the challenges, but not all. I do really love this game, but... Again, it was a mistake to play on the hardest difficulty. So why don't we take a quick break? I'll be back with Destroy All Humans role reversal from destroying aliens to destroying humans. Yeah, 